welcome back to my fourth episode of dealing with distraction and procrastination and how to develop concentrating skills so in last three episodes i have told you the strategies the mental focus and i have told you the power of visualization and how to keep your environment quiet in this episode not only keeping the environment quiet is nice but also you need to understand that how you can work on your procrastination so when i say that you have to work on your procrastination there are a lot of strategies that i'm going to tell you so hi this is dr monica and today we are going to address two biggest challenges to concentration that is distraction and procrastination whether it is your phone buzzing a noisy environment or the temptation to put off your task these distraction can seriously derail your focus but don't worry today we are going to explore the strategies to help you stay on track so first thing that you need to do is you need to identify distraction because the first thing that in dealing the distraction is to identify what's pulling your attention away distraction can be external like noise or interruptions or internal like wandering thoughts or maybe fatigue or maybe something going on in your mind that has actually kept you something has Uh, happened in your life recently to somebody else or maybe to you and you're not able to concentrate on the task take a moment to think about the last time you were trying to concentrate what distracted you once you have identified the source of distraction you can start addressing them now second thing you need to understand that you have to eliminate distraction so let's talk about how to eliminate or minimize the distraction for external distractions like consider creating a distraction free zone this might mean finding a quiet place of work using noise cancelling techniques or maybe noise cancelling headphones that we discover discovered last time or even setting up a do not disturb sign for internal distractions like wandering thoughts try use techniques like mindfulness or writing down your thoughts in a general to clear your mind or talk to someone who would listen to you just vent it out and take your frustration out take what is bothering you take out something what is bothering you for example let's say remote workers often face unique challenges when it comes to distraction without the structure of an office it is very easy for them to get distracted by the household chores family members or even in the comfort zone of the environment to combat this many remote work use a strategies like time blocking where they dedicate the specific hours to focused work and others to focus on non work activities this helps clear to set the boundaries between what is work time and what is the personal time reducing distraction For example if you are in a remote work situation you might be easily distracted by your cat by your pet by your kids or maybe any other thing that is in the household but do remember that if you still say to yourself if you visualize yourself okay these two hours i'm dedicated to my work and after that i have one hour of my personal time so whatever is there i will work on it So first you have to create that environment you have to visualize it you have to summarize it in your mind that you have to create that environment in your mind and then you would be able to work on it now let's talk about procrastination so first thing that we worked on is that we were actually distracting and we were actually working on the distraction now sometimes as we are all human and we do mistakes mistakes is the tendency of a human the biggest mistake or the biggest thing that we all do is that procrastinate things we see we say that okay we will do it in an hour we will do it in a 10 minutes we will do it in 15 minutes and the time passes by so let's talk about how procrastination the tendency to delay or postpone the task can be worked upon so procrastination is often driven by a fear of failure or perfectionism or simply feeling overwhelmed so if you're overwhelmed with simple something or maybe you want perfectionist uh, you want some perfect idea you're not able to work to and you're saying that okay till the time i'm not being perfect in that i will procrastinate my work or i'll do it later 
to overcome procrastination it's important to break down the task into smaller manageable task so you do not when you procrastinate because sometimes the task seems too lengthy for you to work how about dividing the task into small small segments okay i do work for 10 minutes this much work and then i'll think that what i whatever i have done is right or wrong this reduces the feeling of being overwhelmed and makes it easier to get started writers facing sometimes a looming deadlines instead of trying to write an entire chapter in one sitting they might start by outlining the chapter then writing one section at a time by breaking the task into smaller smaller steps and focus on what is required at this moment of time now single tasking so what we sometimes try to do is that we try to do the multitasking instead of juggling into the multitask at once focus on one task at a time until it's completed because this is not only really, this doesn't prove that your concentration is good but also increases the quality of the work multitasking i can do this i can do this i can do that yes you can be a multitasker there's no doubt on that but are you giving the 100% to everything that you are doing if you are taking care of a child you are taking care of the office work our mind is very complex and if we need to focus on something neither you would be here and neither you would be there we have to be at one place in order to be focus on something for example let's say you are walking on a road and uh, you you want to go right or you want to go left you won't be able to go anywhere at the same time and if you want to take the multiple roads you need to know that where you need to stop by walking on the one road and then start the another one so in our final episode we will discuss how to build the long term concentration habits integrate all the st strategies that we have covered into daily routine this is how it is going to be your last episode and i hope you are enjoying this and you are learning so many techniques i would request you to please write it down because once you are listening to it after that you will forget write down start doing it from today and then you will see the changes and i will be also waiting for your inputs at how it has changed your life whether it has or whether it has not and thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next episode very soon